If you have recently tried to upgrade your Oculus Quest project to the latest Oculus integration package, you may have encountered some problems, especially with the hands and the movements. I will show you how to upgrade and fix all the problems. First of all, you should check the build settings under File Build Settings just to make sure that the correct scene is selected and that the Oculus Quest is still showing up in the device list. If the quests don't show up in the device list, even if you click refresh, chances are that the development mode is turned off. So open the mobile app and double check the development settings. If you now hit build and run and wait for the deployment to finish, you may see some problems like I do. I think the main problem here is that the Oculus Quest also updated itself to a newer version and that this version does not really work well together with an older Unity integration package. Before we actually upgrade the Oculus package, we should check some other settings. First check the target device property on the OVR manager script and make sure that the Quest is selected. Another important and now required part are the avatar and platform settings. So open the platform settings and double check if you have assigned an application ID. Otherwise click on the button and create a new application in the Oculus dashboard. Copy and paste the application ID to the Oculus platform settings. You can also uncheck the standalone platform checkbox to get rid of this error. Now go to the avatar settings and copy and paste the same application ID in here. If you now build and run your game, you may not notice any improvements, but now we are ready to upgrade the package. In order to upgrade the Oculus integration package, first go to the Unity Asset Store and search for Oculus. Make sure that you have updated the package so that you have the latest version on your machine. If you now hit import, you will notice that not all files are checked in the import dialog. That is because Unity tries to import and replace just the files that have changed. While importing, you will get some notifications saying that there are also some updates to some Oculus plugins. Just click yes and restart to make sure that you use the latest version of all plugins. If you now try to build and run your game, you may notice some errors like I do. In my case, it has to do something with colliding plugins and the official upgrade documentation says something about deleting some files in the plugins folder. But at least for me, that doesn't help. I think the best and possibly cleanest way is to get rid of the whole Oculus integration package and re-import the new version. After importing the whole package again, it should build and run without any errors. And now your game should behave normal as well. You should see both hands or controllers again, the movements and interaction possibilities should be the same as before, and you can continue developing your game with the latest Oculus package version installed. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.